I already filmed this once um, and it was zoomed in and cut half my head off. So I'm going to try again. Um, if you see my cat, he's cute and I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. Um, yeah, so sorry I've been away for so long, not that I was really ever here. I'm going to get into this tag. If you see me looking down, it's because I have the questions written on paper. I will paste these questions below if you want to do the tag. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. My, uh, my phone's about to die. So I might have to talk a little bit quick. Um, what is the working title of your book? Okay, so I'm working on two books at the moment. Um, one is called Stand Tall, They'll Break Your Heart. And the other is called Iridescent. Question two, where did the ideas come from? So the idea and vibe I kind of got for Stand Tall, I got from um, an album called Waking the Fallen by Events Unfold. I will link a Spotify playlist below. Um, the inspiration for Iridescent came from Iridescent by Linkin Park, which I will also link the video below. Which actors would you want to play your characters in a movie adaption? I've never really thought about this. My characters are loosely based off of people and celebrities I look up to. So we'll go with Stand Tall first. Um, three main characters I'll talk about. Emily is based off of like blonde hair, green eyed type girl. Um, I know Avril Lavigne has blue eyes, but I often go back to her for the kind of vibe that I want for Emily. Um, for Matt, basically based off um, M Shadows from Avengers Unvolved and Zaki is also based off M Shadows from Avengers Unvolved. Avengers Unvolved, I talk a little fast sometimes. Um, so, and for Iridescent, I'm not really sure what I want, who I want Emily, um, who I want Stephanie based off, but I will find a likeness and put that here. Um, for Mike and Chester, Mike and Chester from Link Park, I know that's technically fan fiction, but for me, I base their looks off of these people and that's it. Like, um, I'm just not very good at creating looks. And if that's fan fiction for you, that's fine, but it's not for me. What is the one sentence synopsis of your book? So I looked up on my Camp NaNoWriMo project page a minute ago and... Um, for the Stand Tall rewrite, I have written best friends who become better friends as they fight through the challenges and tribulations of a severe trauma. Um, for Iridescent, it's basically um, Stephanie. She's the angel of um, peace and compassion and Mike is a dream demon. And basically, they fall in love and... Um, they have to go through the idea of Stephanie falling and a bunch of other stuff that if I say here to be kind of spoilerish, um, that wasn't really a sentence, but you kind of get the idea. Oh, well, so it's a nine question tag. All right. Question, um, seven, how long did it take you to write the first draft? So it's kind of polar opposites for these stories. Stand tall, they'll break your heart. Took me probably about three years maybe to write and I finished that in two, I finished that in 2009 and I haven't touched it since hence the rewrite next month. Iridescent is like the opposite of that it I started it in Ford Nano Rimo in 2017 and it took me about five months to write so it was like it was really quick and I was really passionate about it, that idea and that's all I spoke about. What other books will you compare um, your book too. So for Stand Tall, They'll Break Your Heart, um, it's really a realistic fiction novel. So like the ones I get inspiration from are uh, books like um, Speak by Laurie House Anderson, 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. And um, yeah, the rest is really just, I get a lot of my inspiration from music and don't like to compare to books because to other books because I don't want to have to live up to that expectation. Um, with Iridescent, it's really high fantasy. High fantasy novels I like. Um, like my favourite author is Maria V. Snyder and the Healers series, the Poison Study series. You get the idea.
Um, so yeah, again, not really comparing, but that's the kind of vibe, I don't know, uh, that I'm going for. Who or what inspired you to write this book? So Stand Tall, as I said, was Waking the Poor Island by Yvonne Summervold, and my best friend at the time was really encouraging, and you know, like, just kept at me for new chapters and things like that, so that's kind of where that one came from, and for Iridescent, I saw the video clip and a couple of other video clips, and, um, you know, had this insane idea for this story, so how to the kitty, and yeah, so after that, it's really, again, uh, my current best friend, was really into vibing out the stories for me. I had it completely planned out in my head and it was really hard to write and completely different. And she really helped me out. So shout out to Kate. Uh, what else about your book might pique a reader's interest? So with a stand tall, it's really slight romance twist to it. Not really a twist, but I'm trying not to have it too romancy. Uh, but it's really just about best friends trying to struggle through the through this thing that happened. Um, I'm glad I have a cat pad for a laptop. Um, for Iridescent, like, one of my favourite things about it that doesn't really get mentioned in any synops synopsises is I um, am trying to work with totem animals. Um... There are currently three totem animals in it. There is a snake named Joshua, which um, I don't know if I mentioned in this version of filming this, but I kept on having dreams about him and I just couldn't breathe. And um, he is just one of the funnest characters to write and I really enjoy having him in there. Um, eventually, a leopard named Mila will come into it. Um, and she's fun too, and there's a slight mention of an eagle named Reba. I don't know what type of eagle she is yet, but I will find out, and uh, probably update somewhere. So yeah, that's the ten or nine questions that came with the right, uh, the WIP tag. Um, let me know if you want to see me do these kind of videos. While I'm on that topic, I don't know if I should post two videos a week or two two videos one week and one video the other week I'm trying like I'm gonna work it in with my like I have two blogs and then this that I want to keep up with and then halfway through next month I'm gonna be back at uni so what do you guys want do you want a vlog and a video like this or a video on writing or a video on books like, I have a lot of books. I review books. Um, do you want the two videos a week? Or, yeah. I want to produce what you guys want to watch. Um, I will leave the links for... The Spotify link for Waking the Fallen down below. And I will leave this the YouTube link for the Iridescent video clip. And a couple of other video clips down below. What's up, guys? This is Editing Monique. I didn't mention in the video that this is the blog post of the week and this is the book review of the week on the right i will try and remember that next time um don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it and want to subscribe stay awesome and i will see you guys in the next video